give him a big round of applause. Oh. Oh. You're a hard crowd, give him one anyway. They're very comfortable. Here in Australia, the largest bird what nests on the ground is an emu. Just happened to have an emu egg with me today. Plus the cast of an emu egg, same shape, size, just as strong. Nearly need a hammer to get into these eggs. The black-breasted buzzards had to learn how to get into these eggs. Bernice is going to show you how it's done. The talons on a black-breasted buzzard, they're really strong. Their feet aren't quite big enough to wrap around an egg that size. Egg's a bit slippery. She needs a bit of help. She knows I've got it right here. Plain old simple rock. Let's see what happens. Picks up the rock. Lines up the egg. Oh. Oh, first go. Come on, that was great. And just like that. Now you've seen a couple of catches. I want you to watch this next one carefully, okay? These birds do what we call feeding on the wing. Feeding as they're flying around. So they catch their food with their feet and then very quickly pass it straight to their beak. It's already gone. Black kites are also master adapters of success within the males. The females spend their time lower down, hidden in the shadows of the rainforest, and there they create and they protect nesting hollows. The males like Les here, they spend their time right at the tops of the canopy, hidden in the dense green foliage and in amongst the fruits and the flowers, and their job is to forage, to look for food and bring it down to their many waiting girlfriends below. Good job, mate, off you go. So you can see how this bird has used... They have frayed flight feathers, which disrupt... It's not perfect, is it? It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seen some amazing adaptations here today of parrots and birds of prey. Kevin, can you tell everybody what's the most amazing adaptation of all birds? Wings! Oh. Wings are pretty important. <laughs> Need wings to be able to fly around, no doubt about it. Oh, Earlier on... Earlier on, Kate and I were out here with an owl. Bit of a low flyer, bit of an exciting bird, not quite sure if you were listening. Did explain that owls can actually see in an arc of 270 degrees. It's a really long way around. What about you, Kev? How far around? 360. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. What about our raptors? Things like the black kite, the first bird you saw here today. They catch and kill their prey with their feet. Kevin doesn't do that. He's got pretty cool feet. You want to show them? You want to show them your right foot, <laughs> left. I know a lot of people who don't know they're right from their left. Can't kids, put up your right hand, quick. Yeah. Right hand I'm up. One. You're not sure, are you? <laughs> well, good correction over there, well done. Well done, I can see a few of you who need to practice. Did a good job, well done. Those of you who got it wrong, don't worry about it. Kevin used to get it wrong, he had to practice. All right, I'm just, what are you doing? Can you face the front, please? All right, I'm just being a bit silly here with Kevin, but I got a... Oh, you're naughty. But I got a really important question to ask him. Lots of people come along, see our presentation, say birds are probably really scary, not the parrots. Look at Kevin. He's got a big beak. I reckon he could be scary. I reckon Kevin could be as scary as a tiger. <laughs> Biggest worry he's got. He's not that scared. Come back here. All birds are pretty cool. <laughs> You've done a great job. You're a bit hyper today. <laughs> you want to wave goodbye? Give him a big round of applause. Get out of here. Size and power is an impressive sight. We've got Magra nice and lobby their territory. Fly into Magra's airspace. Give it up for Magra. She's going to head off home.